Oh my gosh. It looks really good. Look at how breathable it is. This came out really good, guys. What's up, superstars? In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to make this design. Also using a stipple effect and knocking out the black to make it breathable for any type of shirt. All right. Let's get started. Hello guys, today we're going to create a stipple effect and knockout dark art skull t-shirt design. In this tutorial, we'll teach you how to add stipple effect and knockout to your design to achieve the right texture and detail. For now, to get started, let's first create the design before we move on to our stipple tutorial. Let's go. Let's create a new file. 3000 pixels by 4500 pixels should work well. For this design, we'll be using a few images. We'll start with a simple photo manipulation and add a title to it. Once that's done and everything looks good, we'll move on to applying the stipple effect. And here's our initial design. Next, we'll add the stipple effect. But before that, let's save our design as a PNG file and set it aside for the next step. Okay, next. Let's open a new document with dimensions of 500 pixels by 500 pixels. Then, add a new layer, go to Edit Parts Fill, and change the drop-down menu to White. After that, go to Filter, Filter Gallery, navigate to the Textures section, Select grain and change the grain type to stippled. Alter the intensity to 51 and this will result in a nice spread of stipples. We need to repeat the process a couple more times. For each new layer we create, 
we'll increase the intensity so that with every layer, the density of our stipples will also increase. Just repeat this process until we reach an intensity of 100. You can round it off by duplicating the last layer by pressing Ctrl plus J until we have 10 layers. Next, hold Shift and click on the first layer to select all the layers, then change the blending mode to Multiply. This will render the white background transparent, so each pattern layer builds upon the last. Then, press Ctrl plus T to transform all layers by 200% to soften the hard square pixels, making them larger and giving them a pen-drawn look. Click and drag each layer in random directions to offset the dots so they don't overlap. Once you're satisfied, toggle the visibility of each layer in turn to see the pattern density gradually decrease. With just the first layer visible, go to Edit, select Define Pattern, and name it to avoid confusion. Next, toggle the visibility of the next layer and repeat the process with the remaining layers until you have a collection of 10 layers. When you're done, let's return to our design. Now, let's create a duplicate layer of our image by pressing Ctrl plus J. Next, add a black and white adjustment layer and a posterize adjustment layer. Then, select the duplicated layer, go to Filter, then Blur, then Gaussian Blur. Adjust the blur value to around three to five pixels. This should be enough to smooth the outlines from the posterizing effect without losing too much detail. Head back to the posterize adjustment layer and change the number of levels. Since we've created 10 stipple patterns, set the levels to 10. Now add a new layer. Then select the magic wand tool by pressing W. In the top toolbar, change the tolerance to zero, deselect anti-alias and contiguous, but make sure sample all layers is enabled. Starting with the lightest tone, use the magic wand tool to click and load the selection. Then go to edit, then fill. In the fill settings, change the drop down menu to pattern and select the lightest dot pattern you created. Next, click on the slightly darker tone and fill it with the next lightest pattern. Continue this process, selecting each posterized level and filling it with gradually darker dot patterns. As you do this, you'll see your image transform into a stipple illustration. Here it is, our dark art skull with stipple effect and knockout design. Hey superstars, I'm excited to share some fantastic updates from our website that will actually transform how you order and design your prints. We've always focused on efficiency and ease and to continue that tradition, we're introducing a brand new auto build tool on our Gangsheet Builder site. This tool is a game changer from our creative customers who want control over the designs, really quick inputs for their easy arrangement. With this new feature, you can customize your gang sheets exactly the way you want it, as quickly as you like. All right, we showed you how to make this design. Now let's take a closer look at the print.
Yeah, this print came out so well. You look at how breathable it is. It, it took a lot of the black out. Almost none is even visible, and I love that. <laughs> this is gonna come out really, really well on this shirt, so. Let's get started. For blanks, we got our Bella Canvas 3001. It's an extra large black t-shirt. And if you guys are looking for it, we'll put a link in the description below. We also do have our Heatmaster Prisma to serve as our heat press. It has a 16 by 20 layout and a 10 inch pullout. So it just makes sense for every type of project that we have. So let's get started. We are now also going to put our lasers on just so we can have a better guiding for our alignment. Again, you guys can really put it however you like it. We like to at least even just do a four finger method. guys it looks really good yeah and look at how breathable it is i don't even see it that oh my gosh this came out really good guys there you guys have it we showed you guys how to create this design using a stipple effect and knocking out the black now we got a wearable breathable sellable shirt we hope you guys enjoyed the video. We enjoyed making it. And if you guys are looking for a DTF supplier or just trying to replace your existing one, definitely give us a shot. We would love to earn your business. All right, that's it for me for now. If you saw value in this video, definitely leave a like and subscribe. All right, later guys.